Hello, my friends. Good afternoon. Welcome to a special live release of our new product, which I'm very, very, very excited about. And I'm excited to share it with you. But first, we're going to do a couple of shout outs. So we are live on Facebook and on uh, YouTube and on Instagram. I know, modern technology. So, uh, hi, Jeffrey. Hello, hello. He says, hi, Ken and Cookie. I hope you behaved yourselves today. They actually Mostly. did. Mostly. I think <laughs> they did. I think they did. Hi, Lynn. Hello. Hi, Eleanor. Oh, Diane says, I got everything already. Now just to enjoy the show. Diane, good. You get to sit back, relax, and watch. That's great. That's great. Hi, Laura in Nevada. Hi, Beth in freezing Pennsylvania. Whoa. Um, let's see. Hi, Noreen. Hi, Gloria. Gloria wants me to remind you to please like and share and subscribe, especially if you're watching on YouTube. Please make sure you subscribe. Hi, Regan. Hello. Uh, Regan, the club discount doesn't show until you check out. It'll be, a, it'll be at the very last thing on the line. It'll say club discount minus and then the number. So that's at the very, very end of your ordering. Um, hi, Jane in Michigan. Hello. Hi, Dawn. Somewhere in Nebraska. She's on a road trip. Yay, but she's not driving. Good. Glad you put that in there. Hi, Shirley. Oh, she's sneaking on for a bit for work. Ooh, dun, from dun, work. Dun, dun, dun. I know. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> hi, Jolene. Joellen. Joellen. Sorry, Joellen. Hi, Kathy in Maine. Hi, Rebecca in Alabama. Hi, Bonnie. Hello. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Phil Merle. Oh, I like that name. Hi, Jane. Hello. In Dark Michigan, she said. Do you have anything you need to say right off the bat? Sometimes he does. No, because okay. you said you want to get straight to the Yes, I do kind of want to jump in really quick. have a lot to talk about. So. But heads up, 7up. Um, do you remember playing that as kids? Uh, the website is moving a little slow because there are so many people on, but rest assured, um, the orders are coming through. So it's actually not as busy as it normally is on release night. So uh, just stay tuned. Just let it spin a little bit. It'll take an extra second or two to load. But I was able to get on my phone on Wi-Fi pretty easy. Um, let's see. Oh, Pamela says, I decided to record Survivor so I could watch you live. Well, thank you. Wow. Can we beat Survivor? Ooh. Look at us. Our That's ratings awesome. are going up. Our ratings are going up. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That was funny. Yeah. Hi, Karen in Georgia. Hi, Terry in South Carolina. Okay. So, creative decks. I know we've talked about this or I've talked about this for months and months and months. Finally, Everything has come together. It's taken quite a long time, mainly because I decided to design my own wood box for these things to go into. And so that took a long time. And I think it's finally like whoosh. Now, will we have other releases for this? Yes, we have quite a few. My plan pretty much is one a month uh, just to kind of continue the program. However, tonight's release if you never bought anything ever again after tonight's release, you have lots to play with. So, um, you know, it's something that you can build on. S the single stamps and dies are on special price. They will be on special price until this round, my inventory, my current inventory sells out. Usually it's a flash sale for 24 hours. I, I, and this one could be an extra couple days or two. I don't know how long it will be before they sell out. But until they sell out, there'll be special price. After, when I have to reorder, it will go up to the normal price. Okay, so heads up on that, just so you know. We have a limited amount of bundles left. And that is of the dies and the stamps. I'll, and I'll be showing you all of it. Um, and I understand some of you are like, wait, I don't want to buy anything yet. I don't know what this is. I totally get it. Any of the single stamps and the single dies, you have plenty of time tonight. I bought enough for tonight, okay? So after the show, you can calmly go order and you won't have any trouble, okay? Now, does that mean tomorrow night? I don't know about tomorrow night, right? So tonight you will have plenty of time after the show to go order at leisure, okay? You don't have to rush. If you wanted one of the bundles, uh, you better hurry up. But if you're okay just buying singly, and everything in the bundles is available singly too. So if you miss out on the bundles, you can still order each item singly and you'll be good. What is Creative Dex, right? Some of you are brand new to Stamps of Life or you've, you just are on the channels and you're like, whoa, what is this? Let me share it with you. Remember back in the olden days, we had Rolodex, remember? We had them like this, or they had a case with a clear um, a lid that would come up. 
but this is Rolodex. Remember, we used to keep our names and addresses, business cards sometimes in there. Well, we had this, right? Heidi Swap, uh, I don't know how long ago, not that long ago, came out with a pink version. So she has a gorgeous pink version. We have it on the website. Oops, it's backwards. Wait, is this backwards? No, I did right. Okay, um, we have it on the website. It is an option. And let me just show you, let me just grab one really quick right here. Oh, uh, there we go. So there's a pretty one. That is, and I'm gonna show you all the dyes in a second. Um, but that's one. Um, there's a whole bunch on here. I'm gonna show you more on this one. Here's some just decorated. I gave this system to Katie, my daughter. And let me just tell you, she went nuts. She went nuts and she's been using it. In fact, I literally texted her at 4.15 today saying, hey, I need my dyes back because I'm going live in 45 minutes. So she got in her hot car and drove over here and gave them to me. But uh, yeah, she's had them this whole time uh, because she's been going crazy. So lucky, luckily for me, we have, um, I, I mean, I have all the samples from the design team because there's lots to see. Now, what is the box? The wood box is my own design. I came up with it. Um, I've seen others um, around, like on Etsy, you can see them. And I kind of just like looked at all of them and said, ooh, I feel like I can make that a little better. So I feel like I did. Um, it comes naked, meaning it is literally just a light wood, right? Um, what exactly wood is it? I have no idea. So what we have here is we have the wood box. It comes with, and this is where, um, it comes with two, whoops, that one doesn't have two because that was my sample. It comes with two book plates or, you know, little metal pieces. It comes with the screws and it comes with a handy dandy screwdriver. Yes, it does come with a little screwdriver. And on the box, there are little tiny holes. This is my, oh, here, this, here, you can see it on this one. There's little tiny holes to show you where to put the book plate in the one side and on this side. So it's on both. It's on one and one. So it's on both. And uh, you're going to be able to put that on there. Now, you can leave your box naked like this. Or you can paint it with just standard, remember our home decor stuff, just standard acrylic paint. You can paint it. And I painted mine, of course, pink. Now somebody might wanna know this one. This is pink polish, pink polish. They say my screen is freezing, Ken. Yeah, that we can't do anything about. That is just, uh, Elgar said she refreshed and it's all good on her end. So maybe refresh guys. Our internet is, is on fast speed and it looks like it's going great. So the pink is, I totally painted it. I have a video on the website under the wood box. So go to the wood box and you can watch the video. It, it's a literally a 30 second video in fast motion, seeing me paint it easy peasy. Literally in real life, I think it took six minutes to paint. It's very, very fast. I did not paint the whole bottom. I just painted around it, but um, I'm enjoying the pink. Let me just tell you, I'm enjoying the pink. I think it's really fun. Now, there's lots of different uh, versions of the cards themselves. I wanted to, when I made this release, this release is quite large. I wanted the release to have a good, uh, what's a good word, a, a, a good assortment for you to start out with. Because if I just brought out one die set, you'd be like, oh, uh, I can't do anything with one die set. I need more, I need more, I need more. So I definitely was thinking like that because I was like, oh, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. So a lot of people are saying all oh, good. So everybody, okay, yeah, so, okay. So here we go. Do you wanna do three for me, babe? Mm -hmm. Thanks. So here is an example. So there's, Oh, I'm sorry, I, you're right, okay. So here's an example of one. This one says birthdays. We have this alphabet in one of the sets. So let me show you that set. This is the actual, the original set. And let's, let's look at the dice first. I think that might be easier. So let's look at, where's the original set? Here it is. This one is jam-packed. All of these dies are in the die bundle if you got the die bundle or you're getting the die bundle. So let me show you. You are getting the four standard, and this is called the original set because literally 
it is the original like shape of the Rolodex cards themselves, right? So you have one on each side, you have one on this side, you have one in the center, and you have one without little tabs, okay? Now in that set also, so there's four different sizes plus layering dies, because you know I'm all about the layering dies. And what is, look at how awesome that is. So I have my plaid paper in the layering die and then the yellow card in the regular die. So now you have cute, right? Cute, cute, cute. So we have those also in this set is the alphabet. And when I say the alphabet, where did that one go? Here it is. When I see the alphabet, look at that, birthdays. Now the cool thing about this alphabet is it's like a stencil alphabet, meaning you can use the negative or the positive. You can use the negative or the positive and it's gonna work. You also got some cute little flowers in this one, a cute little dotted heart, and one of the magic dies, I think, because this holds a gift card. Um, why do you necessarily need that for a Rolodex for a gift card? Not necessarily but it also holds a business card. So if someone gives you a business card, you can just pop it into your uh, creative decks. So there is, that's the main one, but look how awesome the alphabet is. One of my favorites. That's a good example of the alphabet. Okay, so that is the original, creative decks original. Now we're gonna look at, oh, uh, let's look at, uh, that's not a good, oh, uh, elegant. So this is the Creative Dex Elegant. Now, a lot of these, my friends, just a heads up, a lot of these have dies on the back as well. Okay, so make sure you look at the back when you're looking at these when you get them. So this one is called Elegant and it has lots of fun dies. Let me pull these out here. So this one has the fun, elegant edge with the dots. It also has this fun, elegant edge here. So as we left just a second ago, I was talking about the elegant cards in the creative decks. And let me show you, uh, let's do three, Ken, so they can see this. So let me show you what the, what the number three is. It is this gorgeous, fancy frame here. Then we have the elegant edge one over here. We have lots of pieces, two fun paper clips, a swirl paper clip, some little extra tabs. These are perfect for the alphabet letters and also for layering the alphabet letters. And what do I mean by that? Look at this, look at that. You can layer the alphabet letters and now you can even put that up at the top if you want it to be like a little file more and you want that B on there or you want that letter on there. So those are great for the layering dies as well. Now. Here we go, this is what it looks like um, up close and personal. Of course there's layering dies, so here's one that shows the stamps on it, so you can see how cute that is. We have the cute little name, birthday, anniversary notes. Also, here's another one, lemonade pie, which is really cute, because don't forget you guys, use our text weight paper and you can run it through your printer, in fact, that's what Katie was working on. If I can grab one of hers really quick. That's what Katie was working on. Katie has been working on this. Printed out on the computer on our text weight paper and she's been die cutting the outside and then gluing it on and having different, uh, different Bible verses. So now whenever she wants to go, so with our Bible verses, I'm kind of going out of order, sorry, but I wanted to show you this. With, all, with our Bible verses stamp set, when in doubt, turn to the Bible. So like when you need, you know, when you need peace, you're gonna go to the peace section. When you need prayer uh, Bible verses, you're gonna go to the prayer. So this one, he shall regard the prayer of the destitute and shall not despise their prayer. Psalms, and then it gives the information. So whenever you need to, you can just go to that section and grab one, but definitely consider getting, or you probably already have the text weight paper that you can run through your printer to die cut those. So that's where those came from. So this is also an awesome idea just to die cut that right there, the whole um, recipe. Here's a cute one, when in doubt, turn to the Bible and the back is decorated. Here's a cute little paper clip on there, the little die cut one. So there's examples, this, this piece right here that actually is over it. It's just this one, uh, yeah, it's the larger one right there that goes with it. So that's that set, that is the elegant set. Then we're gonna move on and look at this one. This one is the, what am I calling this one? This is the large. This is two of the larger dies. So the normal size die, 
just so you can kind of get an idea. The normal size die is this size. Let me hold this up. The normal size die is this size. This one's bigger. And then this one's even bigger than that. Look how much bigger it is, which is really nice because look at this. You can do big cards like this. Perfect for the recipe stamp set. See how you have that recipe stamp set on there? And I'll show you those in just a minute. But that's perfect for that one. This one also comes with the numbers that match the alphabet and extra pieces because eventually we will also have stamps that match these. So you can stamp your own little letters just like the numbers and the word. I'm sorry, the letters. So you'll be able to stamp those as well. This one is the large size. Here's another example of the large right there with a cute little tab on there. Here's another one of the large. This is my favorite. Life is better when you remember your passwords. So you can have website, username, password, and notes because you know you shouldn't keep your passwords on your computer. But if you have them next to your desk, safe and sound, then you'll be able to have those password information right there. That's again the largest one. And let's see, this one is one of this, the next one right here. It's this one, recipe, date, and you can add a two by two photo. And then the ingredients and the information on the back directions from the kitchen of that's the recipe one okay so that is the creative dex large now the next one is also a very very good one and if you were only going to get two the die bundle is already sold out by the way if you were only going to get two i would highly most rec recommend the original because you're gonna get the original cards and the alphabet with that one, right? The original, that's this one. And I would also recommend this one. This is called the add-ons because there's a special die in here. Okay, let me show you that special die and why I say that. Let me move all this over. Okay, the special die. So here we go. This is the set. Let me pull it out of here. This is the set. It has the add-on. So this is gonna have a large card like the other one, but this one has rounded corners. The other one had straight corners. This one's gonna have rounded corners. So that's gonna be the answer to that one right there. This also has a cute little tag that you could add on your Rolodex or Rolodex or Creative Dex. Has more tabs so you can add little labels to them. A large one as well. Some fun swirls, the two by two uh, picture frame, also known as Polaroid, right? So there's that. See how cute that is right there? And it also has, oh gosh, do I not have it in here? Oh, I don't have it in this one on mine because Katie probably kept it. It's this die right here. Why do I say that's the magic special, extra special one? Because it'll turn all of our foldits now into roll it, uh, into creative decks pieces. This is our teacup. Look at this, you guys. Now it's in the creative decks. Here's another one. Here's our fold. Here's one of our flowers using that special die. Now it's in my creative decks. Anything you have, all of your foldits can now be creative decks because of this one die right here that cuts those notches. Actually, it would go like this. It cuts those notches into any pro any item that you have. Are the add-on dies included in the bundle? Yes, they are. All of the dies are included in the die bundle. If you got the die bundle, yes, they are. Now the die bundle, it's already sold out, but it's literally jam packed. I told the manufacturer, just get it all in there. And so it's doubles. Look at how many pieces are in here. You're getting the whole enchilada with all the dies. You're getting all of the dies that are being released tonight. So you're going to use that tag a lot, but this one, dun, 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 you're going to use tons. So if you're only going to just get a few, the ones I recommend the most are the original and the add-ons, because that is going to definitely get you started. Definitely going to get you started. Now, let's move on to the stamp sets, because I want you to see the stamp sets. The last time I looked, we did have a couple in the bundle left for the stamp sets. So the stamp sets, number one, we have the when in doubt, turn to the Bible, Bible verses, and we have a whole bunch of options here. So when you're having trouble with anger, when you're having trouble with anxiety, balance, depression, doubt, all of those, you will be able to create cards. Now, how fun would it be to everybody on the fan page, pick one of these 
and make like 20 of them and then mail them out to your friends and then your friends mail you some. I don't know, you can do a fun swap. But here's one, um, here's another one. Katie literally just did these a little bit more plain because she really wants to be able to focus on those verses. See that? Look at that, each and every one. These are all the prayer ones, by, by as a matter of fact, you guys. These are all prayer ones that she put together that she's gonna want back from me, but I might try to keep them. But look at that. So all of those are prayers. So this would be under the prayer section. A whole bunch of different ones. Now, you could decorate these way more than she has. She is not as creative as some of us are, but that's okay. Look at this one. You can even handwrite them if you want to. Even more meaningful, right, when it's in your own handwriting. So when you're having trouble with anger, go find some Bible verses and write them down. And then you can have them in your creative decks. Here's one on anxiety. Here's one on miracles. When in doubt, turn to the Bible. Isn't that one cute? And then love. So all of your love quotes could go behind it. All of your doubt quotes go behind it. All of your peace go behind it. Oh, those. here's those fun um, flowers in that heart. See how fun they are? They're just the little dotted ones. Uh, when in doubt, turn to the Bible. Bible verses miracles so look at all of the different options the design team did just alone on all of these you could also yes elgars you could do your daily affirmations absolutely here's some that faileen made for me as samples look how cute she put a she used a lot of ribbon which i absolutely love it's just really fun to have that and she just cut them out just on regular paper if you wanted to absolutely that's also an option then the trust ones and then you're going to have more so lots and lots of different options on that one so that's that one here is one for recipes. So I did the recipes in two different fonts, depending on which one you really like the best. So recipe or recipes, depending on what you're saying on your card. Here's some example of the recipes. Here's recipe from the kitchen of ingredients directions. Look how cute that is. On the back, you could even add more information. This would probably be a cookie recipe, right? On the back from the kitchen of, and you can fill it in on the back. Here's desserts, this would be the dessert section. And then you're gonna look at all of the fun, um, the fun cards that you have for dessert. Here's a cute one with just the, li the little mixer on it with that information on the back. Lots of options, here's a couple more that are gonna go in my recipe. So here's this one again, this is the recipe. Date, ingredients, prep time, serves, cook time, directions, that's from the barbecue stamp set. Isn't that cute? Adding the little spatula on there. From the kitchen of, so fun. Here's one, oh, that's for a different one, sorry. Here's recipe, and you can just write it on there. From the kitchen of Chris. Isn't that adorable? Uh, birthday, birthday, birthday. So those are the recipe ones. Now, you're getting tons of lines, which you're gonna use those lines for other things, but I wanted to make sure you had a lot of lines. I highly recommend the bigger cards, so if you get the add-on set, the bigger card that is in here is best for the recipes, or the rounded corner one is best for the recipes, this one or this one. Oh, actually, this is not the add-on, that's the large one, sorry. This is the large one, this is the add-on. But those larger cards are better for the recipes because you're gonna have a lot of information. From the kitchen of, cook time, ingredients, different options, prep time, directions, serves, date, so lots of options on that one, totally fun. Okay, this one, life is better when you remember your passwords. So this one is actually, I called it phone and passwords for Creative Decks because here is for your phone numbers and your addresses and different, just different information for friends and family. Website, this is for your passwords, this piece. So this is one, this is a stamp, that's a stamp, that's a stamp, and this one's separate. Now, here's a tip for you. When you do a Creative Dex card for a friend or family member, right? So you have Holly Sanchez. I'll say I'm doing my mom. Holly Sanchez, I put her address in there, phone number, email. On the back of the card, go ahead and stamp these lines. Why? Because what I think you should do is if you buy that person gifts for maybe Christmas, birthday, in my case, it would be Mother's Day. You need to write the date and what you got them for that occasion. So if it's for their birthday, what did I get my mom for this last month's birthday? I got her, I bought Brit Box on um, Amazon Prime. 
So that was my mom's birthday present, right? Well, I would write that down. So next year, I remember to give her something else, not give her the same thing. So this would be on the front, the lines would be on the back, and you could write down what you gave them for Christmas, their birthday, Mother's Day, or whatever holidays that you do, things like that. So yes, please always make sure to use the backs, Chris is saying, yes. Um, JH, three sons, says, Stephanie, this is amazing. You guys see, I told you, it's this whole system. It's, and, and when I was trying to explain it to Ken, He's like, what are you talking about? I don't get it, I don't get it. I'm like, you remember the Rolodex? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I go, but we're gonna use it for other things, you know? And he said, oh, use it for anything you don't want to forget. So if there's anything in your life that you do not want to forget, you're gonna use the system. So passwords, names and addresses, uh, recipes, uh, what you gave somebody for Christmas and their birthdays, also birthdays in general right boom so let's do three sorry babe so let's look at this one this is the other stamp set that we're releasing this one is birthdays for creative decks it's also anniversaries so for example uh who made this one chris made this one for me she first did this part my name my oh i'm sorry i take that back she did this one name birthday anniversary notes there's another place that you could put what you got them. And she put name Stephanie Bernard, birthday August 11th, because look, you have all of the months, two different versions, and all of the numbers, right? So she just stamped that in August 11th, anniversary, stamped that in, notes. Well, Stephanie's from the Stamps of Life, so I'm gonna put down that right there. She used the dies on top of the regular card just so it would stick up a little bit higher. So here you have all your different options. Anybody that's in January, you could, you could stamp January at the top and have their information on there as well. Oh, and this is April, so you could do double, right? You could have double, but I, chances are you're gonna have a whole bunch of people in January, so you're gonna wanna do a whole bunch in January. In fact, another thing Katie did, so here's a cute one for birthdays. So that would be like the first one in your box, right? And then you could do January. You could totally decorate these cards. February, you could do them like that if you want to. Here's just a birthday one. But Katie was working on this and I was missing some dies so that's not perfect. But she wanted one January. And then she's gonna put all of her January birthdays behind this one. February, all of her the February birthdays in her life are gonna go there, March. Again, all the March, get it? April, all the April. So she's gonna have all of those on there, boom, just like that. She'll be able to go to each one and say, oh, that's so-and-so's birthday. And she's gonna know to make sure to send them a card or email, go ahead and do one, or email or anything like that. She'll be able to remember, right? Katie does not do Facebook. I know, go figure, right? And Facebook always reminds us, but what if you, imagine if you didn't have any electronics boom now you know everybody's birthdays because you have them all in here right right so um let's see i uh uh pamela says i got the the wood box i was afraid the pink would flip over if it got too full actually i I'm, i love that you got the wood box um they're both awesome this can get really full it's not even it's I would say it's probably 60% uh, full. I haven't even filled it up yet. It does hold a lot and I've been able to swing this around. I've been able to do a lot with it and I have not had any issues. Keep in mind, she, she um, you know, kind of uh, used this as her inspiration. So this is like the original, right? So it's pretty safe to say it's not gonna fall over. However, I know you will love the wood box. The hardest part now is to decide if you're gonna leave it naked I love to say naked, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're gonna leave it naked or if you're gonna paint it. So I decided to paint mine pink as I showed in there. You'll see the um, video on that page. Um, it comes with two book plates, comes with the screws, and yes, it even comes with the little screwdriver, um, which I think is pretty handy. Uh, so yeah, so you get to decide, and the book plates are fun because they come on both sides. So you can easily say, you know, birthdays, or you can have a piece of paper in there that says, you know, anniversaries or anything like that. So that is definitely an option as well. So I think I should jump to questions in case anyone has any, oh, household inventory, Pamela says, awesome. Uh, let's see, Reagan said, uh, 
the clips on the bottom are standard. Oh, yes. So they are standard. These clips, the the um, the notches are standard, so they are going to fit. And actually, mine are a tad different than the Rolodex ones, just because I didn't want to copy them 100%. You know what I mean? But it, they will fit on any, um, any Rolodex, anything like that, any of the wood. This one, actually, these are really fun because it just literally has little wood dowels that fit in there. So, um, and they stay on there really well. I mean, really well. Look, well, that was a paper clip. But other than that, they're staying on there. Isn't that awesome? I know it's kind of like a weird thing that they actually stay on there. It's kind of like mind blowing a little bit, but yes. So really excited about that. Um, let's see. So, uh, question, if I bought both bundles, does that include all dies and stamps I need? Jeannie, yes. If you bought the two bundles, that is all of the stamps and dies that we're releasing tonight. You're good. Now you just need to decide if you want to get the wood box or the, I'm sorry, with the naked wood box or the pink holder, or maybe you already have a holder. But all of the dies and stamps are in those two bundles. If the bundles are already sold out, which I kind of think they probably are, then you can buy all of the items separately or you can pick and choose which ones to buy. Um, let's see, let's see if there's any questions. Um, uh, Deborah says, Stephanie, do you think the notches will let the cards clip on a tree to decorate cards and put on a tree? I bet you they would. I really, I wish I had, I, um, uh, hang on, let's see. That's not going to really, they, they will though, um, like, oh, can you see that? Oh, oh, they can, oh, you can kind of see it, but it's like kind of connected to that. Absolutely. I have like a, um. Uh, artificial Christmas tree, these would totally fit on two branches easily, especially if they're wire ones that you could just literally like move around, they would totally fit. And it's really, it's, it's almost like a physics thing that these stay on. It's kind of weird. <laughs> um, let's see. Shirley says you could use this for um, inventory, attach receipts for insurance warranty purposes. Whoa, Shirley, that is amazing. That is a great idea because how many times do you buy a new fan or a new dishwasher or whatever, and you never can find the receipt. Perfect, you could use it for that. Um, let's see, when the new bundles come in, will they be on flash sale? Um, Judy, once bundles are gone, they're gone. So the bundles won't come back. It will, we will just be adding to the regular website, the um, inventory on the website. Um, let's see, so there's four sets, the die, uh, there's four, there's four stamp, well, hang on, let me, let me not say, okay, there's four stamp sets. Yes, there's four stamp sets. Die sets, there are one, two, three, four. Kenny, can you help me on this one to make sure I'm, I'm saying this right? Is there four die sets? On the website? Yes. I want to make sure I got that right. He's looking. I'm pretty sure it's four. I just want to, I don't want to misquote. One, yeah, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah. yeah, four and four. So four die sets, four stamp sets. And again, I understand it's a big program. However, I really just didn't want to release one or two and make you wait months and months and months to get all of these put together into your into your you know inventory because then you're like, oh well, I really want to make some. I want it to be a little now. Do we have more coming out? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have alphabet stamps coming. We have alphabet dies coming. There's lots more coming out. But I really thought that this would be a good start to your collection so you can build on it if you like. Um, let's see. Michelle says, isn't the bundle usually a little bit better of a price? Yes, yes. Um, it, yes, it is. Uh, we'll have to look into that. Bummer, had to purchase all separate because my computer was so slow. Excited to use for Bible verses. Absolutely, Sherry. Absolutely, you get to use it for Bible verses. It's going to be really fun. Oh, oh, Barbara, thank you. You reminded me of something because how are we going to store these? Oh, how are we going to store these? Before we get into this, how are we going to store these? Uh, we got to do a chat contest because I only have 14 more minutes. Chat contest. Tonight, out of all of the releases that we showed, that I've showed, shown, which one is your favorite? Is it the wood box? Is it the Heidi Swap piece? Is it the recipes? Is it the Bible verses? Is it the all the dies? Which die is your favorite? Anything. Post it in the chat for a chance to win a $10 gift certificate to the website. We will be, we will be, um, 
uh, sorry, a post to the website for a chance to win $10 um, to the website. Sorry, lost my train. Okay, and enter into the chat. There's no cost to join, I mean, to, to win. Kenny will pick three winners. Here we go, four by six buddy bag. This is the Monica. Yes, we have them on the website. Four by six buddy bag fits great. Open it up. You are also going to want, if you want to do it this way, the four by six file pockets. Fab file four by six file pockets. That is the option for that right there. Boom. That is the Monica. You can also, and this is the way Katie has been using them. I'm telling you, Katie's had this for a while. This is, oh my goodness gracious, I don't remember because I didn't like really look it up. This one is the six by five. That doesn't make any sense. It's for the four by six envelopes, pockets. It's same for the four by six, so they should be connected on the website. But what Katie did, because sometimes you know, sometimes you don't wanna die cut. Sometimes you don't want to stamp, you know what I mean? You're like in the mood to die cut. So she took my dies and literally cut and cut and cut extras. So here is some extras on that one. Here are some extras for this one. So now when she wants to make a card, she doesn't, or, or a, 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 a creative dex card, she can just grab some of these and start gluing if she wants to, or start stamping. Oh, here's the tags. Here's the cute little tags. So she cut out a whole bunch of these to have them ready to go. And that's kind of handy dandy because then, you know, you're halfway there. Here's some of the layering pieces. She put the layering pieces with the other piece. So this is another option to store these if you need storage for them. Now, for the dies themselves, you could store them together with your cutouts if you wanted to. Or I actually write this second have them on the bigger magnets from Tiffany. Now, I have this on here for display. Once this is all over and I get to go back to my normal everyday life for this program, I will be putting them on magnets that are, you have to cut them because magnets, her other, her normal size, remember, this is the normal size that we usually use. It's a little smaller. See the difference? Can you see the difference? These are smaller, the four by six are smaller. So the magnets that fit in these are gonna need to be cut for these. Okay, just a heads up. But if you cut them in half, if you cut like the big ones in half, hang on, let me grab a, uh, they're all full. But if you cut a big one in half, you could easily cut it in half right here. You could easily fit half in each envelope and then you can put your dies on there. Okay, because my goal, my goal, and I'm kind of leaning towards the buddy bag just because I love buddy bags, but my goal is to have my dies, my stamps, and my extra cutout pieces in my Monica. Oh look, here's she even has more that she's already die cut that have the have those on there. And I am gonna be able to grab this and have all of my creative decks items in one buddy bag. So look, all of these cutouts, I'm going to add the dies. I'm going to add the stamps. Where'd my regular stamps go? Oh, here, here's the stamps. See, I have the stamps. I can put these in pockets as well, but look, look how it all fits in there. Handy dandy. Boom. This is the Monica. And this is just a heads up. This is the four by six fab file. So I, oh, so this is going to be the four by six fab file box. Sorry. Four by six fab file box. That's what this is. Um, so either way, the envelope, the pockets are both for each one, either one. Okay. So it depends on if you want to be able to kind of travel or if you just want it to sit on your desk. Although this does have a handle as well. So that's up to you. So I talked to Tiff when I, before I, re, um, before we went too far into this program and I said, okay, tell me the best way to store these because we need to store these. So that's the heads up on those. So I have a ton already cut out, which I'm really excited about. So look at that. I can fit quite a few in there, ready to go. Boom, done, right? Okay, let's jump in. What are people saying? The box, the box, Bible verses, the dies, the passwords one, awesome. The whole enchilada, love everything. Tammy, thank you, that's so kind. The box. Um, uh, Denise says, I like the sneaky little die that allows us to make fold it into, in, into the creative decks cards. I know, right? Right? 
every single fold that you have is now going to be for your creative decks. So for example, usually I have one just laying here. Let's see if I can find one because I want you to see that one in particular because it is so dang cool. So let me see if I, sometimes I have just fold it's extra fold it's in here. Oh, here. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. So this is the candy cane one. And I think this was last year. I made a Corgi out of the, um, out of the candy cane. Watch this. You guys, are you ready? I'm going to die cut one really quick. I got to find the one that this card is on. I got to find the one. Here it is. Okay, so we're, oh, is that the one I didn't have? I, cause Katie didn't give it back. So I got to open it. I got to open one. Hang on, hang on. Okay, so you guys are all answering what your favorite one is. And I'm going to open this one. I'm going to get out that special little sneaky die that you're going to use way more than you ever, ever, ever thought. Okay, here's the die, right? What are we going to do? How are we going to do this? Let me show you. Let's get our midi out. Ugh. Okay, you guys are all answering the chat question for a chance to win a $10 gift certificate. I love to give away money. And here's my folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this down. Oh, let's do three. I'm going to lay this down a little bit at an angle because I don't want it to go. I don't want it to go straight through the machine like this. Right. So I want to go a little bit at an angle. And you know what? To make myself happier, I'm actually going to put a little tiny bit of washi on there because I don't want it to move when it's in the machine, especially after I've done this. Right. So I'm going to add that like right there. Just going to add that there and I'm going to run that through easy peasy. Okay. Kenny, are you working on getting some? Yeah, I have our winners. winners. Okay. Yes, I have it. Okay. Now, because this is a couple different layers, I'm just going to run it back just to make sure recipe stamps, Oh, lots of the recipe stamps. Okay. Now here we go. I'm going to take it out and get it out. There we go. Now watch this, you guys. I'm gonna lift this up. Dun, 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 dun. Lift it up, lift it up. Look at that. So it's got my notches on it. Now I am gonna take my box and drop it in there. And now look at this. Now I have a corgi. I have a corgi candy candy corn in my box. Look at that. Isn't that totally cute? So you can go as high as you want on these things, right? I mean, it can go high. Now on the Heidi Swap one. Don't know if this one will go all the way through. Let's see. Uh, oh, it actually did. It might get bent up a little bit in the end, but it, it looks like it's going to go through just fine. Now, the square ones especially are going to be great on this one because they'll go through fine. You know, the square, more square shape. This one, who made this one? Yvette made this one. It's for Katie's kitchen. So it's the teacup, the teapot from the kitchen of Katie. So isn't that cute? And this one will fit on there too. Perfect. Boom. Oh, you know what? That one doesn't. It's a little too wide. So I take that back. I take that back, but it fits perfect in the box. <laughs> perfect in the box. So let's go back to the box. Here's the box right there. And then let's grab the candy corn. Put that candy corn in there. So look, both of them fit in there perfectly, just like that. Okay, Kenny, boom. Tell me the winners. Our winners tonight. First winner is from Facebook. Mm -hmm. And it, she said the birthday dies and stamps. It's Debbie Johnson. Debbie Johnson. Our next winner is from YouTube. She likes the memory, the Heidi Swap memory decks best. It's Yay. Candace F. Candace F. And Yay. Our, yes. And our last winner, also from YouTube, it and she said Bible verses. That must be the stamps, right? It's Deb. If I can read my own writing, <laughs> Deb. Uh, I think it's Deb Dehan. Deb DeHan yes. or something close. I will check. Okay, she he will find it. So ladies, you three just won $10 gift certificates to our website. You are going to email Faileen at info at the stamps of life.com and she will get that out to you in the next day or so. Woo! I think I got it all in in under an hour, Ken. I'm pretty impressed with myself. Good job. I know. I know. I was a little concerned. What's that? Deb Wait Denim. A... Denim. 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 Sorry, denim? I left out an end. Yes. Denim. Okay. What was her first name again? Deb. Deb Denham. Mm -hmm. You just won Sorry a $10 that. gift certificate. Okay, awesome. Glory says, love all the items. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Nancy in New Jersey. Hello. 
Hello. Roberta says, I love your folded dies. Thank you. Thank you. Merlin says everything. I love everything. Uh, yeah, so I had a ton of fun. More coming. Um, I just felt like, whoa, this was a lot, right? So let's let's get these started. The boxes, when they sell out, just a heads up, I just want to give you full disclosure. When they sell out, it's going to take me a while to get them back in because it takes about 45 days. Um, so I didn't know how many to order. You know, when you release a new product, you don't know how many to order. So um, last time I looked, hang on, let me look at my numbers really quick so I can see. Um, so I think we're, we're going to be okay tonight. We're okay tonight on the wood boxes. We should be okay for a little while on the wood boxes. But just a heads up on those. Um, those are going to take a long time to get back on. They said that a lot of me, a lot of them said they lost me. Cash is full. Mm -hmm. So we're going to head out. But um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for your love, your support, and your prayers. They mean the world to us. If the website is moving a little slow, just give it a little extra patience because there's a lot of people online right now. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to email um, Faylene at info at the stamps of life.com. And I think that's it for tonight. So thank you so much. I'll see you again soon, hopefully tomorrow night. Bye-bye.